Hi there, I'm John from cncroi.com and today we bought a brand new bandsaw so what we'll do is take a look at me assembling it from the box. One of the challenges of running a custom shop is that our customers always come up with very innovative ideas. Uh, the situation is sometimes it's not very easy to get the materials involved for that project. So for instance, uh, we recently had a project where we had to do some uh, bookmarks out of oak. And I had to basically resaw the oak to be at the right thickness for the spec of the project. Other times we do custom coasters and cutting boards and those kind of things. And it would be far more efficient to cut out some aspects of it using a bandsaw than using a CNC router, especially if it's a low volume project. So, so what we'll do now is we'll take a look at the assembly of the Rycon 10326. I've been looking at bandsaws for this shop for probably the last three months. Uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, different options out there 
It'd be great if all the really nice, unique features of each manufacturer was put into one machine, because then you'd have basically the ultimate bandsaw. The reason why I chose this one here um, is basically because the guides here can be adjusted without using keys, which is a big thing. There's also a fence here that's adjustable, left and right, without having to use any keys. And it's also done, you know, whenever I have a project. So what I mean by that is that, you know, I could loosen this up and I could adjust it properly even if the fence here is not accurate. So I really like that feature about it. Uh, the other reason I went with a bandsaw like this, I was looking at a much bigger one, but because of the variety of materials we cut here from plastics uh, to Corian, like all, Corian is basically a plastic, but Corian to laminates, lamicoids, all this kind of stuff. Um, the bigger bandsaws are fantastic for resawing, but you can't really cut plastic with them very well because what you end up doing is actually melting the plastic because it's moving so fast. So this one here has two speeds, which is wonderful. It means that I can go to a lower speed to cut materials that would otherwise melt. And I go to higher speed to cut things like uh, oak. So if you need anything custom, contact me at cncroi.com.